Good morning, Luthers. I see you switched it up on me today. Martin, you're normally over here on my left, and now today it's Katie. And Martin, today you're over here on my right. Aren't you too clever? Okay, let's talk about your house pets for a few minutes. Do you and your children have any gerbils? Do you have any hamsters? What about dogs? I kind of thought you had dogs as house pets. What are your house pets names, by the way? I'm just curious. Oh, Martin, you're a stinker. You named one of your dogs, a male dog, Philip. You named him Melanchthon, after your partner, Philip Melanchthon. But you also got a female dog, and you named that one Leo, didn't you? For those of you who don't know, Leo was the name of the Pope at the time Luther got into trouble with the Catholic Church. You know, people today have pets, and they go to the store where they can buy bags or cans of gourmet dog food, specially designed with the proper nutrients for the canine population. And I'm sure people today are very faithful in feeding their dogs, but I'll bet that the dogs would much rather eat the food that we're eating. If I fix myself a good steak, I knew that my dog would be sitting right there at my side, waiting for a taste, waiting for a scrap, or waiting for something that fell from the floor. I knew if I ever dropped anything to the floor, I was never getting it back, because Mocha would pounce on that like she was starving. In today's Gospel lesson, we have a story about a woman who comes to Jesus with a poignant request that Jesus would heal her daughter, who was possessed by demons. And Jesus says to her, no, my ministry is not to you. You're not a Jew. And so he denies her request. And when she pleads again, he tells her it's not right to take the children's food and give it to the dogs. But the woman won't give up. She persists and points out that even the dogs get the scraps that come from the master's table. Notice that in this comment, she's referring to Jesus as her master. She is acknowledging him as her Lord. And she's saying that she's willing to take whatever scraps he's willing to toss her. Jesus is so impressed with her faith that he grants her request. Let's pray. Dear Papa, thank you for loving us so much that you shared your Son with us and with the whole world, so that through him we could be saved. We pray in Jesus' name, help us to have the same strength of faith that the woman in this story had. Amen.